Welcome back to Space Engineers, folks. We are still building our base, and we are going to continue doing that. Uh, that's not the one I wanted to color. I wanted to color. I can't color any of them. Dang it! And now I call it that one. We are still building our base, and we are going to continue doing that. So I don't think we're going to roof this right now because that's boring. So what we'll do is, I think we'll dig out some more. So let's, uh, four, one, two. We'll dig out a bit more space for the base. Uh, why can't I right click dig? Hello. Nine. Huh. Okay. And we need a lot more space for the base because I have an idea of what I want to do and what I want to do is going to take some space. So, but not down below. Well, over on this side, it will take some space down below, but not right here in this section. So we'll just dig out a ton of rock. We're right click digging, of course, because who wants rock? And you can get much better materials than that. So we are just digging out here. And it's really hard to see when you're digging out in here, but we can do like this and that will help a lot. Then we can see what we're doing. And I think that's deep enough, at least for now. But we need to go in much, much deeper. Here, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll turn around so that we're not on our side. Being on this, your side is so confusing. Um, so basically what I had an idea about is I want to make a, a glass room basically and it's going to be kind of uh, suspended between the two sections of of the base and that's because I want a landing pad on both sides of the base so that we have in the front of the base we'll have the big ships and behind the base we'll have the small ships and the small ships will then fly under this uh, suspended room which where the floor will be made of glass and also There will be a room below where the roof is made of glass so that you can see ships flying past. I think that'll look pretty cool. And luckily in Space Engineers, you're always wearing your spacesuit, so there will be no looking up girls' skirts while flying under this room that's suspended. That would be naughty. Okay. We still have 93% of our hydrogen left, which is pretty good.
So we can get a luck dug out here. Ninety-two. Seems like it's going down slower than usual. For whatever reason, that might be because we have the the generators on here with a full load of ice that they're processing. Progress is being made. I love it. There might actually be a couple of rooms suspended. I'm thinking. We'll see. Definitely digging out a lot of rock. A lot of rock. Oh, can't see anything. There we go. bit all right and this is as far as the build and repair system reaches so I think we'll have to build another build and repair system and offset the um, the area for it which is fine not a problem okay, we still have 86% of our hydrogen left this is awesome. Okay, let's just quickly take measure of what we've done so far. We have the front of the base here. We're going to have to dig out a lot around here as well. But we have dug out quite a bit. We dug out, dug out quite a bit. So let's turn around and start digging out the front. And down here. Dig, dig, dig. Okay. Come on. Dig it all out. Now we could ask the build and repair system to do this for us, but that just seems a little bit cheaty to me. To be honest. Seems cheaty to have the build and repair system do everything for you. And what's the point of the game? If you're not going to do anything yourself. We 
We are making good progress here. Very good progress. Just dig out this jutting out bit here. Oh, where the heck am I? I'm upside down. Which I don't like being. I love this mining ship. It's really, really effective. Or efficient, however you want to say it. I guess it's efficient, not effective. Quite a bit has been dug out here. We don't actually need to go this deep, do we? Oh, we do. We do. Let's dig out a bit here. Forward a bit, bring out some more. Meteor storm is coming. Hopefully, this ship can take care of it without being hit. Okay, where's the base? The base is there. And we're upside down again. Let's change that. The ship really has a tendency to turn. I guess it's just because I'm flying it weird, but the turn, it really likes to go on its side, it feels like, which I don't want it to do. Hmm. So the question is, how deep do we want to go here? I think we want to go quite deep. Not down, but in. Turning on your side. Don't like it. Ready. Let's dig out some more here. We still have 73% hydrogen. That is crazy. But anyway, you get the idea that we're, we're, we're digging out a big, big, big freaking cave here. And I think I'll dig out most of it uh, off camera because it gets a little bit boring to watch if you do it for too long, which I may already have done. Uh, so I think I'll leave it more or less here for digging out cave. And we'll head back and fill up on hydrogen and then I think we'll go mine some gold because I want to get a shield on the big ship so that it's not so vulnerable out there well What's going on? Why can't I move? 
I can't move at all. Oh, I'm locked. I don't look locked. At all. Two. Okay, and we'll turn those off. Stockpile of the base ones to fill up. And there we go. Now, if something got damaged here, it should be repaired, so that's fine. Um, let's see, because we can't actually make shields yet. So, what do we need to build to make shields? We need a gravity generator. Which needs gravity components. So why don't we build a gravity generator on the base and we'll just turn it off while we're building it because I don't want to generate gravity while we're flying around in our ship. So if you could hear that, that's my cat wanting attention. So let's see, gravity generator. There, gravity component, silver, gold, and cobalt. Oh crap, we don't have a lot of cobalt. I would, we don't have cobalt for it. Dang it! I suppose I could. Um, metal grids. We have 2,650 metal grids. If we did a similar. And put not all of them, but oh, I can't do that. Uh, all right, we'll do something else. My inventory, and then we'll fill up on little grids here. It's 200. And please don't spit them out as soon as I stick them in there. Uh, I may need to say uh, sorter, I think it's sorter 12, components and tools, yeah. So we will just turn that off. Let me put these in there. Production. Now, which assembler did I put them in? That one. And we'll say disassemble. 205, was it? Metal grids. That gives us quite a bit of cobalt. I think we're going to need more than those 200. Let's go get another 200 and do those as well. Um, middle. Uh, 
Assembler 2, production, disassembling, 203 of those. That should be okay. I think that will be enough for us to make the gravity generator. And we can always delete it again after we, or disassemble it again after we build it. We just need it to unlock the next blocks. So if we say inventory, we have cobalt. Good. Does that mean that let's just check all of these? See if there's anything in there that shouldn't be in the production queue. There is not. So then we'll say assembler two. How much cobalt do we have in total? That's the question. Cobalt, we have 16.3, that has 110. So I think we'll grab all the cobalt. That's 126, we need six. So that's 22, that's 110. So we have just enough cobalt to, to make this. So we'll just put the cobalt in here. So that we can go in here and say production assembling. You go away. I think I cleared out everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are we missing silver? I thought I had silver in the base, but maybe it's still out in the ship. Let's just check that. Uh, silver. It's still out here. I can't get it out of the refinery because the refinery is not connected at the moment because the ship has been manhandled. So now, we should be able to make our, well, they've already been made, nice. Which means that we will say sorter 12 on and that should mean that we have the stuff that we need in here, I think. Five. We need one more. We need one more. Hmm. Production. Not getting the cobalt that it needs. Fine. We'll go get 200 more cobalt. Not 200 more cobalt, but 200 more metal grids. I don't think there is cobalt on the moon because of the mod I have installed. So we're going to have to go and find some more cobalt. Uh, oh, we need to say control panel, sorter, 12 off. 
production, disassembling. Two hundred and three of those. Inventory. Go. Okay. And that will be enough cobalt. I honestly thought that I brought a ton of cobalt up here, but nowhere near enough, apparently. Nowhere near enough. Okay, control panel, sorter, 12 on. Production, assembling, a gravity component, please. Uh, didn't I turn it on? I did. I'm pretty sure I did. So now we have seven. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll grab, I guess, all of them. Actually, we can just leave it in there because we'll just grab some and some interior plate and then we can say where do we want to put this gravity generator that's the next question we could put it in here if it's not too big um, G gravity generator not too big. And we have all the parts and we have gravity. Energy low. Let's run up to our seat and get some energy while we check out this gravity thing. Uh, control panel. Gravity generator. Now it's the first time I know that I'm actually looking at one of these. Uh, gravity generator, field width, field height, 1G. But I don't actually want gravity, so we'll turn it off. But I understand what it does, of course. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So now, I need to get out of the seat. We will have unlocked shield. No, I thought we would have unlocked shield. Antenna, laser antenna. Uh, I haven't bought the Frostbite DLC yet, but I will do that. Because I want the new door and the gate and so on. But where the heck is the shield generator? It's up here. So we built the gravity generator now. Ugh, I have to do it by hand or it won't count. That sucks. Safe zone, jump drive. Artificial mass, space ball, whatever that does. Spherical block that reacts to gravity. Okay. Artificial mass. Mm, 
And then we have shields. We need to get all the way down here. So we need to build all of this stuff by hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build that gravity generator on the ship by hand so that our build and repair system doesn't do it for me. I could, of course, just turn off the build and repair system. That's probably wiser because I do want a gravity generator on here eventually. Well, we can't carry everything. That kind of sucks. Uh, let's stick you in there. Let's go grab the stuff before it disappears. So next time we will build the gravity generator by hand. If I don't do it in between episodes, I might do that. And and then we'll uh, get down to the shields because there was a lot of stuff that we needed to to build in order to to get there. So I, I can't do it by hand. So yeah. So we'll we'll do it uh, in the next one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe? And I'll see you next time.